In today's lecture, I want to talk to you about structure. What is structure? How is it important to our dogs? And what is the most important part of structure that we end up teaching our dogs? In so many of my questions I get, I answer back and I say, your dog needs more structure. And the question that I always get back from that is, what do you mean by structure? So this lecture, I want to kind of break it down for you. I want to explain it to you, hopefully in a way that'll be very easy for you to understand. Almost every single behavioral problem a dog has can be solved through structure. Structure means we follow certain guidelines, we, de we determine what we will and won't accept, and then we follow through with that. That's critical for our dogs to understand, and it's critical for us to teach our dogs that. Dogs will respond better to structure and to strength, leadership, than they will respond to love alone. Humans respond very, very well to love, but that is one of the places where humans and dogs are very, very different. I always say, give a dog structure, he'll love you and follow you for life. Give your dog love, and he may love you, probably will love you, but he won't respect you, and he may not follow you for life. He'll move on and on and on. A predatory creature is primarily concerned with structure and safety. That's what keeps them alive. That's what's kept them alive for thousands of years. And since we have domesticated the dog and the dog has domesticated right along with us, has co-evolved with us, this is a really clear communication. And only recently, only, only in the last maybe 20, 30 years, has dog training changed so much to add so much positive training into it, which can be good, but can also be very deadly to the dog because it doesn't take into account the dog's natural predatory drives. Structure essentially is the foundation of communication and guides. If you want to understand what structure is, simply look it up on your phone and I'll read it to you. Structure as a verb, which is the way we're using it, is construct or arrange according to a plan. Give a pattern or organization to. So, your structure with your dog is exactly that. It is a plan. It is an arrangement. That means I show you what I want. I reward you for doing it. I make it very beneficial for you to do it. And then I demand it. Giving a dog structure allows the dog the opportunity for immense freedom. Once we have a plan or a construct to understand what it is that I will demand of you, and you delivering it, I will give you a wealth of freedoms along with it. Structure is the foundation of communication between my dog and me. As a young puppy, I allow the dog freedoms to do anything that is non-destructive. They can run around and they can bounce and they can chew on things I let them chew on and they can bark and play and, and, and carry on because they're puppies. We don't want to diminish those drives. We don't want to squash the personality of the dog because we're trying to build a structured animal. We want a dog to have freedoms, but we want those freedoms to develop into healthy, healthy habits. We have to understand that in the puppy kingdom, in the dog kingdom, structure means love. That means if you can protect me, you can uh, control me, then you can protect me. I don't let dogs get away with things that I don't want them to get away with, and I'm very, very clear on it. Structure is also very important because it teaches our dogs a communication that we will understand each other. That if you give me A, I'll give you B. I'll give you all the freedom you want, but you have to listen to me. Most all structure you put on your dog is to prevent injury or harm from your dog, to your dog, I should say. Now, people always think that structure and, and dog training and, 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 um, and anything that's, that's regimented in rules is negative. They think, well, I'm just going to love my dog and the dog will be fine. Sadly, the dog will not be fine through love alone. Love can cure a lot of things and it's an amazing, amazing thing. It's probably the most amazing thing in the world. And it should be your love for your, for your dog that gives you the necessity to impose structure. Love alone to a dog is a sign of weakness, but love coupled with structure is a sign of strength. 